Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. This is the perfect full house cleaning motivation for you guys today. I am tackling all over the house, a little bit of everything, and getting a lot more spring cleaning projects done on my list today. So let's get ready. Let's get our uh, multi-purpose spray, our rags, everything. So that way you guys can clean along with me. We are starting in the bedroom. I wanted to strip the bed. I also really wanted to get my windows done today. And if you saw a few videos back, I have a trick of how I'm cleaning my screens nowadays which has been a game changer and is going to make keeping up with cleaning my screens so much easier. So I know I mentioned a couple videos back how I got a new set of sheets because I liked the ones I had, but they weren't staying tight on the corner. So I wanted to get ones again that had the elastic um, strap on it. I have been enjoying these. So I told you once I had them for a couple weeks, washed them a couple times, I'd let you know my real opinion. Love these things so far. I did order them on Amazon. I actually still need to order a second set. I haven't because... I wanted to make sure I liked them before spending more, but these are great. They have been lasting well. They didn't get pilly after washing. They're super soft. So highly recommend these ones from Amazon. Alright, and like I said before, I had shown this little trick a while back when I did um, Bjorn screens in his room, and this has been a game changer. Instead of having to go outside, take these screens off, scrub them down, spray them, let them dry, all the like steps of cleaning the screens, which I know isn't the hardest thing in the world, but it's so much more tedious that I'll be honest, it just doesn't get done as often as I would like. I have started using my steam cleaner. Um, now, I've done it where I just put some soap on a rag and wash it and then use the steamer to spray it off and whatnot. But on this day, I literally just took the steam cleaner and sanitized, sprayed the whole thing. If you guys have a steamer, you know the spray on it is powerful and absolutely loving this little trick to get your screens clean without having to completely take them off or anything like that especially if you have windows like mine where they fold in um it just it's real quick I fold them in I spray them down I'm able to clean literally every part of the window without having to go outside How many of you guys are excited that it's Friday like I am? I swear I get just as excited as the kids do because it's like, oh, okay, it's a time for us to have a break. The ones that take their kids to and from school, it's like, as I'm not even worried about like sleeping in because I'm not someone that like really sleeps in a ton. Um, but just to be able to have that relaxed morning where if I get up even at the regular time, I can just go sit down drink my coffee, relax, like there's not stuff going on. I always love the weekends. I just love being able to just chill, not have the rush of mornings, making sure the kids are ready. I'm ready. Everything's going on. Um, so yeah, super ready for the weekend. We have so much going on in the next couple of weeks. Bobby is actually going to be doing a little guy's trip coming up in a couple weeks. So he's going to Wisconsin. Um, 
So he's going to enjoy that. He hasn't seen his friends in a while. And with St. Patrick's Day and everything going up, we're like, you should just go up there. Go up there. Hang out for a couple days. No big deal. Uh, we were able to find plane tickets that were a pretty good price. So he's doing that. Xander got first place for his science fair in um, his school. So we also have the, like, um, main, I, what is it called? I don't know. Where it's like the all the schools in the area science fair. We have that coming up. So just a lot. The kids are definitely counting down towards spring break. I don't know when your guys' spring break is, but ours is at the end of March and they're definitely ready for it. I'm now moving into the dog room. <laughs> this is Bailey. As you can see, that is his favorite spot to sleep, but he, being a St. Bernard, he doesn't drool like crazy. Like if you're thinking Beethoven, that that's not how he is. Um, but just like, let's re be real, us as people often drool when we sleep. He does the same thing. I like to go in every couple of weeks and wash these tops just to get them really clean. Um, and since it, they are so easy to take on and off, it makes more sense to just do this and let it go into the washing machine instead of like taking out my um, steam shot or my little mini carpet shampoo or whatever. So that is what I'm doing today. Plus it just makes the room smell really good because they are dogs. So if I can keep up with cleaning and making it not smell like a dog room, I am very happy. I know a lot of people always ask about why I call it the dog room and it's not so much that it's like their room per se. We hang out in there. It's actually a really nice room just to like sit and read in. Um, but this is where we feed them. If we are leaving the house for a long period of time, they go into this room. That way they're not getting into trouble into the rest of the house. However, we haven't needed to do a lot of that lately. Um, ever since Drake passed away um, in January, he was being our husky was a lot more mischievous. Um, so when we leave the house, we haven't actually been locking Minnie and Bailey up the same that we were just because Drake's not around anymore. But yeah. Now onto this fan though, I am taking just a Swiffer duster and I am dusting it first and then I go in and wet dust it. But you can see how dusty this was. So I definitely had to come in with a dry duster before any type of product. And then my multi-surface cleaner for today's video video is Pine Sol. <laughs> You're always going to hear it's either Pine Sol or Thieves Cleaner. Those are my go-to and today it is Pine Sol. Love this stuff. I use it on everything and it always just makes everything smell amazing. I know some people do not like the smell of Pine Sol. I personally love it. Like if I mop and dust things down and everything with Pine Sol, I just feel like the house smells so clean. It is one of my favorite scents. Um, but definitely if you're ever dusting, really dusting anything, it helps to use a two cloth method. So dry dust and then wet dust. But especially if you're dealing with stuff that's really, really dusty, two cloth method or even grab out um, the vacuum machine and put one of those like horsehair uh, attachments to it to dust it with that first. That's always a really great option as well, but you're never going to get it that clean if you don't do some sort of dry dusting, dry vacuuming first. It just, just gets crazy. But after I was done with that, I moved on to our little animal center. This is where we keep everything for the animals. So we have bird food in here, dog food in here, um, dog and bird treats in here. We have medication for the animals. Literally everything we need is in these cabinets and 
I love it. This is one of the pieces of furniture that we put together. Um, we didn't really put together. I went to, I think it was Lowe's and got some cabinets and painted them in the countertop. But it has been such a game changer to have this storage. I love it. Um, we had the humidifier in this room um, for a while now. So I finally just put it out there so that Bobby could take it to the shed. Uh, it was hadn't been being used for months now and it just been sitting in this room so i was finally like okay this is driving me nuts uh the only time we ever need it is if we're dealing with water or anything so i just moved that out as you can see this door gets filthy like so dirty and really needed a good deep cleaning so i started with my um multi-purpose spray and just a rag but it definitely was not getting as clean as I would like. You can see it got cleaner, but there's still some discoloration and everything on the door. Um, so after doing this, you're going to see I go in with the Zep wall cleaner. Love that stuff. I praise it all the time in my videos. And a magic eraser um, or melamine sponge. I buy them on Amazon in like 50 packs under melamine sponges because they are so much cheaper but this is like the holy grail of combinations for cleaning doors walls baseboards anything if a microfiber cloth and multi-purpose spray isn't getting it clean and you really need some help grab a melamine sponge grab some zep wall cleaner and it works phenomenally i actually use melamine sponges for a lot of things. Um, I often have people messaging me about different problems. So it's definitely a myth that um, granite and like quartz are completely different. Like when I was looking at counters, I was told quartz are so much more durable. They don't stain like granite, blah, 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 blah. It's not really true. Um, now, I do think they clean a little bit easier. But I have definitely had some situations where we've had slime or something from the kids that they've left on the counter that have left blue spots before. I've had red spots before. And when I go in with a melamine sponge and some barkeeper's friend, I have gotten every stain out of that counter. Um, and I've done that on my marble even in the past, which marble, as you know, is like extremely hard to get staining out of and I can't say it would get every stain out because marble is very very finicky um but yeah melamine sponges they're my little secret weapon for a lot of areas in the house So I'm also very excited. Bobby decorated for Easter this year. We have not done any spring Easter decorating in two years now um, because uh, last spring we were just still doing so much stuff in the house. There was just a lot going on. Um, we Pulling out our Easter and spring stuff just seemed like a lot with everything going on still still the spring before that we were actually in the process of moving so it made no sense to pull everything out so this is the first year in two years that we have decorated for spring and easter and i am loving it it is funny though um and you'll see some of my springy decorations next week because i literally just started doing them but i had noticed like in the last house when I decorated for spring, it seemed a lot, not like Christmas over the top, but like we had a lot more spring stuff. And a lot of that was, I had a lot less areas to decorate in the last house. Like I didn't have the space to really fill in. We're here, we have the fireplace, the coffee bar, like there's a lot more areas to really clean. Um, 
and put things on and decorate. So, but I told Bobby, I'm like, I want to decorate, but I don't want it to be over the top. Like, I really just want a touch of Easter for the kids and a touch of spring. And I literally had the perfect amount of decorations without buying anything new to give me a perfect touch without it being overboard. So what seemed like a lot in the last house, in this house, just feels like that perfect sprinkle of Easter and spring, and I am loving it. Um, as you can see here, though, I am working on these sliders to the pack porch. I love using my steamer on these because these get extra grimy. The dogs are coming in and out. The kids are coming in and out. Um any pollen or dust or anything obviously a pollen and dust not so much on the inside but I'm definitely getting dog drool and nose prints and hand prints from the kids and things like that and this steamer just gets it super clean I do have to and you may notice this if you have animals also with any type of steamer or squeegee that if hair gets on it, you're going to want to wipe it off because it will leave it streaky because it'll like pull that hair down and won't give you that perfect streak free shine. But I think these are all little tricks you just kind of got to learn to live with when you have animals um, because animal hair just gets everywhere, absolutely everywhere. But especially on the outside, I love this on the outside because like I said, this is where the pollen is, the dirt is, absolutely everything. And it just looks so good when it is nice and clean. And then into the kitchen, especially since I had time before the um, cushions were going to be all clean, so I wanted to move inside. It actually wasn't too, too crazy and stuff wasn't a crazy mess, but there was still a good amount to just go around and clean, tidy up, get everything just back in order. So actually, if you're wondering what I was doing before, I just had a stack of mail that I wanted to go through real quick. I always get asked, I think paper clutter is the one thing you guys ask me about the most of how I handle paper clutter in the house. My biggest thing is we go through it right away. Um, we get rid of any junk mail. We shred anything that needs to be shredded and we file what needs to get filed. I also have a mail thing um, in my laundry room that mainly is to hold like permission slips for the kids or bills. Um, but that's always my biggest thing is going through it right away because the second you let it pile up, man, does it get overwhelming and no one wants to deal with it. So that's my biggest thing if you're ever getting overwhelmed by paper one, you have to get caught up and that may take a good couple of hours. We've definitely, every couple of years we go through our filing cabinet because there's just papers that are out of date and aren't necessary anymore. And it is a long and tedious project, but I think it is so, so worth it. I have watched, um, grandparents and things like that as they've gotten older, having to go through this stuff or worse, I've had um, family friends who their parents have died and have never gone through their paper clutter. And now they're going through decades of paper clutter, trying to figure out what they need, what they don't need. And it can get so overwhelming that we, like I said, we deal with mail paper because that's pretty much all of our paper clutter right away. And um, go through our filing cabinets once a year, once every other year, just to stay on top of it. Uh, and when it comes to kids' paper clutter, I'll be honest, I have one of these parents that I don't save a lot of stuff that the kids bring home from school. Very, very little of it. I usually ask them, is this something you want to keep? And I leave it in their hands. If they say yes, they get to keep it. If they say no, we get rid of it. Uh, 
there's just, I'm, I'm not very attached to school projects and things like that. So the only paper clutter we get from school is going to be informational stuff. So uh, field trips or uh, projects that have to come up, permission slips, things like that, but not a lot of paper clutter in any other way. Here, I am just spraying my main burner with some Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Definitely something that if you have a glass stove and you want to stay on top of keeping it clean, 99% of the time, I just wipe my um, stove off. But you know that main burner often can get just grimy. Easy Off is the easiest thing. I will wipe down all the counters, including the stove, and then just spray the area that isn't coming clean and by the time I am done cleaning the kitchen I can come back and wipe that off and my stove is perfectly clean that has been my biggest like game changer of keeping a clean kitchen and keeping a clean stove is having that on hand at all time I'm not having to go in and scrub my stove pretty much at all anymore like I will I'll go in and scrub it and give it a good deep clean once in a while but for the most part just wiping it down spray that off on and then wipe it down again later and it looks brand new every single time love that um, but going in and cleaning these chairs I like to wipe these off every single day because they definitely get grimy with the kids sticky hands and everything on them um and it's just easier to keep up with it rather than I'm sure you guys have had it before like especially when we had high chairs in the house that like build up of food and it you like need the steam cleaner to get it off because it's impossible I don't like having to scrub so I would rather do something more often and it be a quick little task than neglect it and it get really really bad um, so that's what I do with these chairs if they need it if they don't need it doesn't matter I wipe them down every single day just to make sure they never get too bad now I don't always do the bottoms like this but I do every once in a while like to come in and clean these bottoms um, just to keep up with any dust or anything. I do put them on the counters. I know people don't like that, but after either I vacuum and mop or the robot vacuum goes through, I put them down and I rewash the counters. So don't worry, the counters do get rewashed, but it just works a lot better. And then at this point, all of the covers were done, so I wanted to go back in and put them back on, especially since Bailey was definitely giving me the side eye all day about his couch being torn apart. So I wanted to make sure these got back on right away. They always come out smelling so nice and looking so clean. I love this sofa and the easeability of cleaning. It's definitely made my life a lot easier and with the dogs like you saw Bailey he absolutely loves this sofa so to be able to let him be on here and enjoy it and not have to stress out about having to clean it definitely a lot easier this is the one cushion that is a little bit more of a pain and takes a little bit more patience uh, but I think part of it is just because it's so big it's easy to take off putting it on it's a little bit more of a struggle
And then after I've got them all back on, it's the fun part of just making it look pretty again because I don't care if this is what I call the dog room or not. I like it to look pretty, especially since you can see this room from the rest of the house. Like it is a like addition to the house, but it is still very, very open to the rest of the house. And I make sure that it still looks nice and pretty into the dining room though this dining room table i swear is always a catch-all um it's not as bad as like our old uh island at our old house that was like horrendous for catch-all but this still seems to just like everything seems to land here so i like to go in and tidy that all up and wipe down that table um, but also wipe down this sliding glass door because this is another one that just gets extremely grimy, mainly from Freya. <laughs> she is the main culprit of this sliding glass door. Now, in her defense, these doors are extremely heavy to slide. So she literally will do like the full palm, both hands slide to open these. And yeah, I clean them but they literally last maybe 30 minutes before they are dirty again. Um, but I still think it is important, even if something gets dirty right away, to keep up with it. Because once again, if I didn't, and then when guests come over, like if I only did this door once a week, once every other week, um, for like Sunday dinners when family comes over, it would be so much more work to actually clean this than just doing it every couple of days, even though I know it's going to be a mess again. Oh, and talking about Sunday dinners. So you can see this is a different day outfit change. Um, but this was actually a Sunday dinner day. And one trick I can tell you if you're going to have guests come over and you have animals and you're worried about things stinking is clean um, fabrics in the house. So if it's towels or blankets, things like that makes a huge difference and mop your floors. If you can clean the towels and blankets in the house and mop your floors, it's going to make the biggest of difference. Um, since I knew we had guests coming over this day, I wanted to uh, quickly wipe, clean all the towels in this bathroom. This is the kids' bathroom, but it's also our guest bathroom. So I like to come in here on those Sundays and get it really, really clean, mommy style clean, not asking the boys to do it, just to make sure that it is nice for when people come over and it doesn't smell like pee because I have children and this is real life that Sometimes the bathroom smells like pee and the kids do not do the best of jobs of cleaning their own bathrooms. You guys know me. I like my kids to have chores and keep um, care of their spaces. However, I also do like to go in every once in a while and give it my level of cleaning to help maintain the space. I will say though, if you have fake plants in your house or even real plants, I actually have a spray for my real plants that help dust the leaves off. Um, this is a great task to do and it's something that I don't do all the time, but especially if you're thinking about spring cleaning or guests coming over or something like that, going around and cleaning off your plants makes a huge, huge difference. I also feel like it's really important to clean your bathroom before guests come because there's certain things in your house that people do notice. And I feel like the bathrooms are the main one because if they're in your bathroom, they've got a second to like sit and look around and see 
how clean you really are. Um, so my bathroom is always my number one. Whatever bathroom the guests are going to be using, it gets a really good cleaning before they come over. Um, but another thing for me is floors. I always make sure that I go around with my vacuum mop and do all the floors before guests come over. There are just certain areas that, one, I think it helps with the smell. And let's be honest, everybody's house has a smell to it. Um, some worse than others, some better than others, some just different than others. It, it really depends on a lot of things. Do you have pets? Do you have children? Um, cultures? Like what foods you like cooking? There's so many different reasons why everyone's house has a stank to it. So dealing with the bathrooms, dealing with the linens, and dealing with your floors, those are ways to really just help enhance um, your house before people come over. At least in my opinion, those are my go-tos to make sure everything is in tip-top shape because I personally don't think my house stinks, but I also know when you live somewhere for a while, you go nose blind. Like, you're not going to notice it the same as someone that doesn't live in your house. Oh, and talking about mop vacuum, because I did just have this question asked of me, is what I put in my mop vacuum if I put any extra cleaners in it, um, or just the recommended and uh, water. So, I just do pretty much water. Um, if I add anything, I might add a couple drops of essential oil or something like that, um, or the smallest amount of something that I like the smell of. But I am not doing it for cleaning purposes. I am doing it for smell purposes. I have <laughs> used um, other cleaners in it before and done too much. And it is not a good idea. It gets very soapsy and sudsy and it turns off on you all the time. So I do recommend sticking with just water or the recommended um, cleaners. Or like I said, if you want to use just a couple drops of essential oils or like a literal drops of your favorite cleaner just to get the scent of it. I've done that, but it's purely just enough to get the smell and nothing more because <laughs> yeah, it's a sudsy mess. So don't recommend using anything other than what's recommended by that manufacturer. So keep that in mind. If you are thinking of getting a vacuum mop, you have a vacuum mop, or if I just know if someone asks me those questions, often other people have the same questions. So figured I'd answer that and maybe help anyone else that might have been wondering as well. And then, of course, before guests come over, I always make sure the family room is clean because this is one of the main areas that we're in. Honestly, any of these main areas, the kitchen, I make sure is good, dining room, bathroom, uh, all those areas that I know people are going to see, I like to make sure is tidied up right away. I flip these cushions on the regular basis. I like to flip them and move them and change them just to help with wear and tear of the couch. So if you're ever wondering what I'm doing and why I'm constantly moving my cushions around, I just know everyone has like their go-to position on a sofa. Um, so I like to move the cushions around so it's never getting used to just one person, just one area. Like they're getting more even wear and tear on them. 
but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you next week. I can't believe it's already March. This is insane, but yeah, I'll see you Tuesday. Bye.